Hello guys, welcome back to the channel Tea Lover. So if you are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and get my latest update. As you all know that I have been making a video for solving the ransomware virus and just removing the ransomware virus completely from your computer and also providing you a data recovery option. So if you need any help from me and you need to contact me, then you can directly contact me through some medium over here. So I'm just providing that medium link in my channel over here. So you can just move to the my channel and go to about and you can find this link or you can see this link just below the cover image of my channel. So I'll just provide this links more links in site over here. You can just check over the site or you may contact me through Instagram. Okay. So just if you want to ask any queries or you have any queries related this topic then you can directly contact me through the Instagram, Twitter, Facebook or WhatsApp. Okay. So you can just email me also. So we we'll just move for today's topic. So in this today's topic we are just discussing about the next ransomware virus and its extension is ZQQW. Okay. So many people have got this ransomware attacks on their PC. The main reason of getting this attack is you have just downloaded something from untrusted site or you have just allowed some extension on your Chrome or Mozilla Firefox or your any browser over here. Okay. So ransomware virus does not affect until and unless you do not allow for it. Okay. So you just allow something on your PC to get access to them. So they just attack directly to your file over here. It will convert all your file in the format of dot zqqw at last so these file are not opened over there okay so i want to say you that we cannot decrypt this file so if you are just searching for the solution to decrypt this file so many people suggest this site imisoft ransomware decryption but it only work the for the ransomware virus which are just before the august 2019 okay i want to make a clear on this thing and next thing is there is an uh, quick kill decryption tool over here so you can just download this also and you can try over here but as you see that they have just mentioned some, some ransomware extension over here okay so if you have got any ransomware attack and its extension is in this site then you can easily decrypt this file but i don't think you will just get this thing in this site because your ransomware virus is newer one okay so they do not attack by the older extension they always attack with the new extension so what can we do is just recover the our file for recovering i have some tool over here okay i am just providing you some tips and techniques to recover this file and remove your ransom virus from your computer so let's move so for that i am just opening this blog over here you can read this blog also i have just clearly mentioned all the thing in the blog also okay i'll provide this thing in the description below so as you move here so there i have uh, written a short step over there okay so put your computer in a safe mode okay i have told if you have got your ransom virus attack on your computer then you have to just keep your computer in a safe mode or you can use a antivirus in it use quick kill so it is one month free over here you can just download it from softonic.com so another thing is that if you can you should format your c drive because if you have data on your c drive then you have just 20 percent chances to get back your data it means that you have very low chances to get your data back if you have data in local disk c but if you have data in external drive or or any drive except c drive then you can get the data but that depend upon the data so i want to suggest that you can get this image faster you can get 100 percent images from your computer you can get some part of document from a computer or mp3 and videos file are somehow less chances but we can recover some file from this data recovery software so as you know that something is better than nothing we have to try for it so i have a two software over here and it's one is stellar data recovery tool and next is disk drill so i have provided this 
two things in link description below so just click on the download option it will redirect you to the download destination from the google drive okay so as you see that i have just pasted these two things with crack over here so many people are just not able to crack the software if you are not able to crack this software then, then you can recover any data so if you haven't cracked your software then a demo will be shown on your software over here so first thing i'll teach you is how you can keep your computer as a safe board so for that just go for the source bar over here and just type run over here so after you have typed the run click on the run so when you click on the run there is an dialog over here and you have to type this command its command is msconfig i repeat msconfig so as you see this thing in the screen also and click on the ok option so when you click on the ok option you you will have a pop up over here and that pop up you can see a boot option over there and in the boot option you can see a safe boot just click on the safe boot and go down and select the network the thing you have to remember here is to select the network because if you do not select the network in this thing then you will unable to connect your computer or pc with the internet okay you are not able to use lan or wi-fi so always select the network and just apply for it and pc will be moved to safe mode over here i suggest you if you can just format your pc because that is the best way to get your data back so i'm just cancelling this part you will just apply this thing and the same interface will open connect your pc with internet and let's go for the stellar data recovery option okay this is my data recovery tool just open it so i have already cracked this software if you haven't cracked this software then you will able to see our demo in the top of the software okay so first thing you will do is just remove this everything option because if you just source all this data from your hard disk or computer it depend upon the storage that your hard disk or your local disk drive have the time depend upon the data you may have and the storage of your hard drive option over it so just select the what you wanted okay so i just select the photos i always suggest you to select one by one because if you just go for everything at one time then it will take a 10 to 15 hours so there that is the lot of time you your pc may get interrupted between these things then you will not able to recover your data so just click on the next option now you have to select your drive okay so i have only one drive over here i am just selecting for c so if you have data in d select d if e select e or any drive you like to recover okay so after that you will just go right below there you can see a dp scan in the left corner of the software okay so just enable this option and go for the scan so it will take a lot of time over here okay so after this thing will finish over here you can successfully recover your data from your computer so it's take a lot of time over here so i'm just skipping this part if you do not know how this thing will work then you can contact me through our instagram to lover 2054 i'll help you that i can for you okay so i always suggest you to keep your file back off in something always before keeping your data you have to keep your data in something pen drive or any external drive for the safe because anything can happen in the digital world you may get hacked or you may got decrypt or encrypt with some virus within a second so you have to just enable the window defender always on your computer and you have to make your copy of data that you have important always while doing your work so when you complete this scan as you see that my scan has been complete and it has told that 4.30 gb of my data can be restored from this okay so i want to tell you that this all file are not recovered because these file are in the extension format of raw template or anything from your computer so some file will be in the format of raw data so you don't have to recover all this file you just need what you wanted just close this tab okay now your always your data will be in the folder of raw data so just expand this raw data now you can see in the jpg folder you can see a number of photos over here okay as you see so there are png photos over here so there is wmf 
or BMP. So like this, you get your data. If you have PDF file, you will get in raw raw data. If you have Microsoft file, you will get in raw data. Or if you have videos, audios, anything, anything, you will just get this data in the raw data only. Okay. So you if you move for the respective folder over here, then you will find nothing over here. Okay. I want to tell you that. So it's easy. Uh, select the file. And click on the recover option so you have to browse the data destination over there so I'm just creating a folder in the desktop okay I'll show you one issue uh, some people are facing over here is when they browse this option they will select the folder and select folder and start saving but source and destination volume are same so this problem people are having so I want to tell you that you do not you should not select the same destination it means that if you are recovering data from c type then you should not replace the data in the c type it means that you have to move the recover data or save the recover data in the d or e, e drive so this will thing will not come okay so if you have any problem regarding this uh, data recovery software cracking or anything problem then you can directly contact me through the instagram so i'll help you as i can for you so if you are new to the channel please subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching thank you for your support